I used to go to McDonald's whenever I was hungry. I used to be addicted to food there, but only for one reason. My dad would always treat me there. We would always get fries, McNuggets, sometimes a burger. It depended on what mood I was in. What I didn't know at the time was that my dad loved this place. Perhaps a little bit too much. He would always encourage us to go eat there. And by us, I mean my mom and sister. Nobody knew why my old man cared so much about this joint and why he didn't want to eat anywhere else. But he was mad about McDonald's. Was beginning to feel worried after a while. And eventually, I just stopped eating there in fear that I would turn out just like my dad. Everyone in my family eventually noticed dad's behavior as well. And my mom decided to try and have a talk with him about his addiction. Mother told dad that we should be saving for a trip and that there would be much better food. He didn't listen, only caring about, you guessed it, McDonald's. It got to a point to where we decided to just stop eating there. Figured that it would hint to how tired we were of the food there. First, Dad didn't seem to care so much. He ate there on his own. But, a week later, he began to snap. Don't you care anymore? Why won't you eat out with me? Everyone in who was in the room, including me, said, No, Dad. We just don't want to eat at McDonald's. Dad changed after that response. First, thought he would grow out of this phase. But he only began to get much worse. Father was distant with all of us, trying to avoid us whenever he could. He had a grudge, because he thought that we disliked his favorite fast food joint, and that we had betrayed the wonders of a Big Mac. My dad got to the point to where he couldn't live without eating there at least once a day. We were all tempted to try and get help. But we were scared to do so. Mother got depressed and was tempted to leave him right on the spot. It wasn't just his obsession, but it was due to the way he was beginning to act over this. About another week, my dad would spend most of his time at, you guessed it, McDonald's. My dad had become a lost cause. We didn't know what to do about it. I was asleep that night when I was awoken by a horrible scream. It was coming from my sister's room and I immediately rushed out the door to her aid. My mom was also doing the same thing and I opened the door to my sister's room with mom right behind me. Upon opening the door, we saw something familiar. He was of a clown who I couldn't see well in the dark, but he was just standing there strangling my sister, laughing sadistically. My mother screamed, asking, what was he doing here? But he just ignored her. I was tempted to try and watch the clown in an attempt to save my sister, but my mom held me back telling me that it was too late for her and I would only get myself killed. Fearing for the worse, turned on the light and saw a gruesome sight, my sister still in his hands, but turned out that it was my dad dressed up as Ronald McDonald. I didn't know how he could have gotten that costume at the time, but it looked exactly the same as the McDonald's mascot. My dad must have been talented at making costumes, and none of us knew anything about it. We both ran as fast as we could, and as we ran, we heard loud stomping from right behind us. This caused us to only run faster. 
we managed to get outside and didn't bother going for the car since the keys were still inside the house. We just made it as far away from that place as we could. When we finally reached a safe spot, I called the police since my mom was too stunned after what just happened. My dad had a warrant out for his arrest it turned out. He had harassed some of the kids during his time at McDonald's and he would even get into arguments and even cuss at them. The cops searched our old home. But the only thing of interest was my sister's room, which had been destroyed and showed signs of a horrible fight happening. This was the only evidence that the cops had found, but that hasn't stopped them from searching since. My dad has left that old house, but it's better not to come back there because of the horrible memories it has. I don't know what happened to father, but I'm worried he's watching us. We have come to a conclusion that we can repel him if we keep eating at McDonald's. And that's exactly what we have been doing since. <laughs>